Hi, I'm Michael from Westboro Photonics. Let's take a look at Photometrica's display test package. For this demo measurement, we're going to use a WP6E imaging colorimeter. The display test package features a simple and easy to follow step-by-step -step workflow. Step one is where we configure the active regions. At this time, a measurement can be acquired through display test, or we can use an existing measurement. Displays can be rectilinear shaped like the one seen here, or irregularly shaped, for example, like an OLED with a notch. We can even have multiple displays within the field of view at the same time. For this demonstration, we'll work with this existing measurement of a rectilinear display. Display test automatically detects your display's active region based on a luminance threshold. We can define a specific luminance value, or we can set it as a percentage of the maximum value. Let's leave it as a percentage. If desired, a margin can also be applied within the detected range. This can help eliminate the region around the edge or bezel that may be of little interest and lead to skewed results. Let's set five pixels as our margin. If we zoom in, we can see the red line for the detected active region, and then the yellow line represents the five pixel margin. To add a test, simply select the Add button at the bottom, and then we get to choose the type of test we want to do. Display Test has a built-in library test and categorizes them as either defect or performance tests. Defect tests include various types of Mura, for example, Black Mura, Cloud Mura, Edge Mura, or Light Leakage, and also other things such as Hot or Dead Pixels. Performance tests include various types of uniformity and accuracy tests. Let's start by creating a simple luminance uniformity test. We get to give it a name, choose what type of test we want, and set up the parameters. This particular uniformity test works by breaking up the active area into a grid of AOIs, and the uniformity is then calculated from the data. We also get to choose what measurement we want to apply the test to. We can again configure display test to acquire a new measurement, which may be desirable for automated tests or use an existing measurement. For this test, let's select an existing measurement of a white test image. Once we click OK, the test now appears in our list. We can also easily duplicate a test, which is a convenient way to progressively change parameters so we can find results that line up with visual inspection. It's also very easy to import or export tests, which makes collaborating with colleagues or partners very easy. Let's add another test, this time for the color uniformity of a red test image. This test works by finding what AOIs have the greatest separation in color space or the Euclidean distance between them. Let's keep our grid size the same as before. Click OK, select the test, and run it. Notice how instead of a hot or cold spot, the highlighting for these two AOIs is the same color. Another popular type of test is 9-spot luminance uniformity. Let's go ahead and create another uniformity test. This time in the parameters, we're going to keep the grid at 10 by 10. This spacing lines up with common 9-spot parameters, that is 10% around the edges and 50% for the middle and center. We also want to select this checkbox, Center AOI at Grid Intersection Points, and you'll see why in a second. We can set our pattern, nine spots, click OK. And instead of filling each grid cell as an AOI, I want to put circles at each one of those green intersections. I'm going to choose a size of 100 pixels, click OK, click OK, run my test, and there we go. Now let's make a test that's a little more complex. We're going to look for defects that are very small, or even perhaps dead pixels. We're going to choose the test type and what image we want to look at. Instead of highlighting my defects to be orange, which would be very difficult to see here, I'm going to change that to black. 
In the parameters, I can choose between a global threshold or a local threshold. And what that means is looking at the entire display as one area or breaking it up into these small local grid elements, which will help me find these small defects a lot easier. I'm going to set some appropriate parameters. I want to limit it to very small defects only. And click OK. Let's try running this test and see what we get. Notice how there's lots of defects around the edge or the bezel. We can categorize these differently in what's called an active or critical region. Going back to the parameters at the bottom, I can select critical region. We can set this as a margin. I'm going to set 50 pixels. We can also have separate pass or fail criteria for the critical region. Let's say we allow zero defects within the critical region, but within the active region, we allow five. Click OK. Notice now that I have two parameters within the same test. I can click Run Test. We can now see results for both the critical and active region. Let's take a look at a black measurement for a second. We can see some light leakage here at the edge. Let's try to find that using our edge more test. I'm going to create a new test, give it a name, select edge mora. I'm going to test the black test screen. Choose my color that I want to show it as and take a look at the parameters. We're going to test the entire display as one. So that's a global threshold. Instead of dark defects, we're going to test for bright defects. And then I'm going to populate some parameters. Click OK. And run my test. You can see we are able to find this area. Now let's try to characterize this dark area around the edge. Instead of creating a new test, let's duplicate this one and then change the parameters. We'll give it a name. Dark Edge Mura. It's already looking at the black measurement, and then we can change the parameters. Instead of looking for bright defects, this time we're going to look at dark defects. We'll set some appropriate parameters and click OK. Let's see what we get. Now that we have a nice list of tests, we can choose to run selected ones, or we can select multiple at the same time. At the bottom, it tells us our total number of failures and total number of passes. There's also a production mode, so you can run through all tests in an automated fashion. And that's a quick look at Photometrica's display test package. Thanks for watching.